<laughs> Here lies breakfast toast. Draco's most prize worthy <laughs> piece of toast he made for breakfast. Draco, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop crying. We have to get into the video. Yeah, you're very dramatic. No, you have to mourn the toast. <laughs> he wasn't even buttered up yet. <laughs> okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Crew Craft. Draco's crying over some spilt toast, would you say? Spilt milk? Well, who told him to carry it while mine? Yeah, it's your fault, Draco. I don't know why you're crying. <laughs> Anyways, in this episode, we will be building dun, 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 a safety bunker. Because in the last episode, we asked you guys, what should we build in Crew Town first before delivering all the villages here? And Jiggly Jello's comment said, you should build an underground home. But it has to be so big. So whenever there's a storm, you can go underground. And we have to yep. fit all of the villagers in it. So let me draw out a planning board for everyone. It is raining today in Crew Town. It's a sad day. <laughs> Sad day indeed. <laughs> so you may all be wondering, what is a bunker? What's in a bunker? What is it for? Yes. A bunker <laughs> is for the topmost natural disaster, like a zombie apocalypse. Uh -huh. Or alien invasion. This bunker should be able to keep us alive for over a million years. A million? I don't that think that's a real word. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. A million. Just let him go. Let it go. It's a millennium <laughs> and a million. A million years. Okay. <laughs> and you also forgot to say it was for our villagers too, not just us. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So it has to be big enough for our villagers too, I guess. Wink, wink. I guess. Wink, wink. But what we need is we need... We need a cafeteria. And Wait, we need... how is Frosty gonna fit through this door? Yeah, how are we gonna say Frosty? Frosty doesn't get to go in. What? <gasps> no, man, Frosty always gets to go in. He's the best dragon ever. I think Frosty Frosty's can protect a dragon. himself. He can protect himself. Fine, so, let's put down some rules. This is phase one of the bunker plans. First of all, we will need a sleeping quarters to sleep in. Common then, sense. Yeah. <laughs> we will need a cafeteria. This cafeteria will be self-sufficient. It will have its own farm no. and its own greenhouse to grow plants. Um, I don't think we can build this. Yes, it will have toast. Draco, can you have some more realistic goals? Yeah, how about like just Goal. a stove? <laughs> Whoa, hey! You need a self-sufficient cafeteria. If there's a nuclear war, there's no food out You're there. You're being you way dramatic. When is a nuclear war going to happen in Crew Town? Shh. Shh. <laughs> the most important thing. How are the veggies and the fruits in the cafeteria going to be grown? With the waste from the waste disposal of fertilize the crops and make them grow up nice. No, and oh, yeah. this is <laughs> but the most important rule of all is no wet shoes. I don't want any water in this facility. I want it to be waterproof, water free. Okay. <laughs> Can Since, someone else do the planning? Well, Draco owns phase one, so fine. Draco, you're in charge of phase one. Next time, someone will be in charge of phase two, and etc. Okay, fine. What are we building first? Sleeping quarters? First, we need a hallway. We need to close this up and make a hallway, and then we need to make a room into a giant sleeping quarter. Let's work together, hey. team. So we're going to build right. the sleeping quarters first. Should they? Should the hallway be this uh, small, though? Shouldn't it be bigger? It should be bigger. Should we make everyone sleep in one single room, we'll though? We'll have three by three block hallways. <laughs> um, Fine. Three by three. Well, I this is the most efficient way to have a sleeping quarters, in my opinion, since we're only in phase one. Just make a giant, big, <laughs> empty room and stick sleeping bags everywhere. That's yeah. true, guys, because awesome. remember, yeah. we got to start off simple. If we start off too complicated, we'll never finish our task and we'll quit, just like the other crew town that got burned. <laughs> <laughs> so how wide do you want your room to be? Enough to hold... Mm, <laughs> he doesn't even know! 200 villagers. 200?! <laughs> that is a lot wow. of people in crew town. Fine, huh? fine. Enough to hold five villagers. Five? Just us? Yeah. <laughs> no, We're gonna start dipping in. Oh no. Um, we hit what? dirt. There's oh. A, yeah. Draco, we have an issue uh -oh. here. Site manager, we have an issue. Seal it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I put some stone in the chest for. Fine, purposes. you can I seal it off, but so. we're just gonna expand this room. Gold, you're in charge of go grabbing wool so we can put some beds in here, and not five beds, at least ten. We'll take 10 villages. I broke. Oh, no, funny. We don't need any beds. They just bring their own sleeping bags and they sleep on the floor. 
Yeah. Okay, you're right. You know what? We gotta dip in further. No, Draco, cover it up. We're going too deep. We're going to build some doors for the sleeping quarters because we know how that is very important for privacy for some people around here who open the doors when they're closed. I'm talking to you, <laughs> Rainbow. <laughs> Gold, did you bring our bedrolls yet? Yep, working on it. We also have this new mod called Chisel. I really like it because we could change anything cool. into prettiness. Look at this. <gasps> wow. Five stars. Bam, pretty. Oh my god. Bam, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> pretty. Ugly. Yeah. Can I place down the beds already? Oh, gold. Okay, yes. This is one of the bedrooms. I made it myself. There's dirt. Dirt flooring. Oh, it's it gives quite a nice tiny. What? It's a bunker. Funny, this is supposed to fit 200 people. No, Gold, we've decided to make tiny rooms because we couldn't air out this big enough. So we're just yeah. going to make multiple tiny rooms. All this right, is going to so fit. whose room is this? This will fit about two people. If you, It counts. Do you want the bunker people to be happy or you want them to be <laughs> angry trapped down here? <laughs> yeah. Angry. Okay, angry. No, That's, you don't okay, like five angry. people in that room. Where are we going to stay first? Temporary, we are going to stay in the nice dirt room. Look at this. Wow. 10, 10 out of 10 aesthetics. I chiseled all of the wall and it looks pretty nice. I mean, it's better than this basic stone look. You like it, Gold? I worked very hard-ish. <laughs> <laughs> I did not randomly do any of this anywhere. I guess you tried. We're going to chisel this and boom. Look at this room. It looks exactly like a bunker that I wouldn't like to be in at all. Bunker room one does need some decor though. So let's go to the deco bench and grab a barrel of potatoes and one kiddie pool to keep us entertained or at least brighten up the room a bit. Okay, guys, you ready for the best decor skills of all time? Boom and boom, kitty duck pool, barrel of potatoes. Do you like it? Is this to take a bath in? Well, no, it's not to take a bath in, but it's just to admire that you're living in such a wonderful little house. Bunker. Room. Um. Insanity place. What? What's wrong with it? <laughs> you don't like my duck in this baby no. pool? No. <laughs> Fine, we'll move it. Fine. Okay, there. Does this look better? So boring. Sleeping quarters done. Draco, you want to check it out or should we do it at the end? At the Let's end. do it, yeah. Next one is cafeteria. Now, the cafeteria needs to be super nice. Lunar is already digging out an Eden area. I like it, Lunar. For now, we're going to make the cafeteria pretty open space. Is open space dangerous? Do we have to close no. everything off? Mm, no. Are you sure? Well, open space I thought yeah, it everything has to be behind a hot door. Yeah, I thought bunkers, you have to close everything off, right? Yeah, it has yeah. to be closed off. So we need to close this cafeteria off, Lunar. Finishing off the closing area for the cafeteria of the bunker. In the future, I am going to replace all of this cobble with glass so it gives off a bunker look. But for now, Pleb Bunker 2018. Who's coming? No? What? No. <laughs> what? You would, you would rather yet. stay out there in the zombie world instead of staying in our cute little place? How Funny, sad. The only way I would stay in this bunker is if the whole world was ending and everything. <laughs> That's the point. That is a very dark <laughs> thought. Thank you, Rainbow. Is a food processor important for our bunker? Yes. Yes. Because um, yes. we're too lazy to cut. Some knife yeah. strips and obviously a toaster that doesn't work. That's right, Draco. I got a prop toaster. Remember, <laughs> Funny, you have to choose self-sufficient kitchen Ooh, items. okay, you're right. Self-sufficient. We're putting the oven down to bottom cabinets and a kitchen sink. This is the most self-sufficient kitchen ever. We got to place some tables down along with some chairs so our bunker people can have some nice place to eat. Also, oh, yeah. I also <laughs> forgot the toaster and some cereal, some fruit hoops. Who doesn't love fruit hoops? <laughs> I have something to say. What? It's fake. Oh, cake. No, it's fake. Cake. No, no, no. Oh. It's fake. <laughs> Rainbow, um. these are prototypes for when we get the real food in. No, it's just to make people feel happier in our plebby bunker that there's a I real feel cereal. Like that would make people go insane. No, no, it wouldn't. It's a very great idea. I made it up myself. And we also <laughs> have a knife strip and, and fake tomatoes. <gasps> oh, no. yes. Um, funny. <laughs> funny. What? Why what is do there you rain want? in our bunker? <gasps> That's not good. <gasps> what? Oh, no. What's happening? 
No, no, no. Hole. Someone did that. Who did that? <laughs> no wet shoes, Who remember? Rule number three. Or four. Okay, rule number one. Just cover it up. There. Easy peasy. We <laughs> saved it. Oh, we covered. Well, I, I'm not an NBA basketball player. I can't get up there. Boom! <laughs> Yes! Nice. Yes! That looks weird. Food processor on the floor for now and spice rack because who doesn't need spices on their fake cereal? Lastly, we're gonna put an old stove up here to give it the nice, the nice bunker feel. Also, <laughs> we never know when Joanna is gonna give us more of her babies or if she ever returns to Crew Town, but boom! Baby crib. I'm gonna Aww. break this. <laughs> I feel like we need more tables though. And then like, you what? need a rocking the chair the for the baby. Rock I Rainbow, don't think babies use rocking one. chairs, but sure. Rainbow, this is phase one. We're only inviting eight people into the bunker, including ourselves. We can't so make we an 100 people <laughs> bunker in a day. It's not possible. <laughs> Lastly, it's time for waste disposal. I'm out. I don't want to be part All of right, this. All right, bye, Draco. Night. Yeah, you can do hey, that. Hey, you <laughs> have to help unless you want to pee in jars. Okay, <laughs> fine. We'll be civilized. We won't. Obviously wants to pee in jars. We're gonna go into the bathroom category. How many toilets do we need? And modern toilets or like the Just scary one. type of toilet? Just one. Just one. What happens if one breaks? <laughs> Uter, if we are in here, we need to conserve water. We do not have time for 50 million toilets. Yeah, that's not Just oh, one. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, chill. I'll well, grab what happens if someone one. doesn't flush. Yeah. Well, you better make sure you flush. Then they're exiled. They're exiled from the bunker. Yeah, they're exiled from All the bunker. All right, I got my toilet, dude. We're ready. Where are we setting up the waste disposal? Right next to the kitchen. Well, technically, you always have to go to the washroom. Like, when people are done eating, you don't want them to, like, be screaming and running, like, half a mile across to use the washroom. So Wait a minute. You also, we can't put it in there because it's going to be a single toilet. It'll have a lineup. We need to have a place where it can just have a full-blown lineup. I have an idea. What? To be, in order to be self-sustainable, it needs to be, here, come, come here. Okay. Is this gonna be gross? To, I don't wanna see if it's gross. The, the, the washroom needs to be right next to the garden because either way, water in, water out, right? right. Water Go, in, just turn around. Water just out. Out. Okay. Water in, That's water disgusting. out. You guys, leave her in there, okay? Go. No. Seal her up. No, hey! <laughs> Lunar, do you have a place where we could put a washroom? Please tell me. I feel like this area could possibly be one, but we need to like dig deeper. How about it's just a single washroom, Draco? Just one, okay? Just you gotta be chill. Yeah, just one. Just it one. It has to be near the cafeteria. Yeah, it's gonna be one single bathroom where everyone could go. And if the toilet gets clogged, then we kick in them out mm -hmm. of the bunker. There's gonna be an exiled list, okay? <laughs> no clogging toilets. <laughs> Everyone who uses the toilet wrong. What happens if you're me? exiled? That's the new rule we have to add. What? No clogging toilets. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Can someone make this place more beautiful? Please chisel. Thank you. Ta-da. All done. All right. Now, toilet basin. Toilet pipe. Oh, it doesn't work. Toilet with a water tank. This looks super uh -oh. haunted. Toilet <laughs> plunger. <laughs> And I thought we could fit a hot tub in here, but I guess because Draco wants us to make it way tinier, boom, water basin. You could take a bath in here, wash your hands, all of that good stuff. And lastly, we do need some toilet paper, so we're going to leave it right here. How does this self-sufficient washroom... What? <laughs> what is this? What? Why are you putting sticks down? What the heck? So where do I wash my hands? I have this all summed up. Boom. Ew! <laughs> you want us to keep reusing this tiny pool to wash our hands? Well, we'll, we'll clean it and stuff. Draco yeah, said self-sufficient. Yeah, it's a bunker. Not a it's not glamping hotel. gold. It's not a glamorous and bunker. And here's a nice bathroom sign. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. This is a work of art, guys. I'm not gonna lie here. Before closing this off, let's do a tour of our bunker. Ooh, yes. beautiful beds. Wowee, 10 out of 10. Gold and Rainbow were working over here for a long time. Why did you guys make a super long tunnel? How many people are gonna store down here? I don't know. This looks claustrophobic. But what if we can save humanity, you know? I don't know, I agree with Lunar. I'm getting some claustrophobia from here. But let's switch on over to our kitchen. Beautiful kitchen area for eating. Self-sufficient sugar cane? Why didn't you plant, <laughs> why didn't you plant wheat? We can't eat sugar. 
<laughs> yes. Yes, sir. I love sugar. <laughs> you guys already saw the washroom. We're not even going to start with that. But it's now time for a challenge. Instead of us always saying, leave a comment down below, I want you guys to try doing phase one of this bunker challenge. And you could be on survival mode or not survival mode. Who are we kidding here? You're probably going to be on creative mode <laughs> if you want to build the best bunker ever. But tweet us your pictures at It's Funny and make sure to use the hashtag, hashtag crewcraft. Build your own phase one bunker and take a screenshot mm -hmm. of it. We will be looking at your builds and using them as a blueprint to make ours a lot better. We'll put you in the Hall of Fame. Are we going to have a Hall of Fame down here? Yep. The pretty bunkers list. <laughs> Funny, I got a gift for all of us. With a bunker welcoming. What is the gift? It is. I picked it up while I was working outside. Baby eggs. Of <gasps> all Are we going to eat types? <gasps> no. No. <laughs> this Good job, I This is perfect food. A swan <laughs> egg. Funny. No, guys. This is for building our civilization in here. We're gonna also have an animal sanctuary. Leave it in there. Gold, thank you for adding to the bunker. But if you guys did enjoy this crewcraft episode of us being stuck underground for a million years, make sure to smash the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to join the fam. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, guys. Bye. We can finally escape now, guys. No more bunker life. Yeah. We're yeah.